This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this After Effects tutorial, we're gonna create some really awesome corporate-based titles which are clean, minimalistic, and work for just about every single project. All right, we're loaded up inside of After Effects and we'll move over to our tutorial composition where we only have a background. So I'm gonna build this right from scratch by going to the top and grabbing the text title tool. And we'll wanna type out our title so you can work with this with multiple titles, but the concepts of this tutorial is to get you going and being able to create any title that you want to create. So we'll type out our main title, which is corporate titles. So our main title will just be corporate and we'll make this white and we'll make this a little bit bigger and the typeface that we're using is unisans and what's great about unisans is that there's a handful of different fonts within it and our main title which is corporate will make this unisans bold so you want your big title to be you know out there in front of you so here is our main title and what we can do is come here to the line tab and just center this up don't see the line tab go to window align and now we'll type out our second title and this one will just be titles because I'm just trying to spell corporate titles here and we'll make this font a little bit smaller so we'll go to unisans light so you can use any really you know font family uh, that has variations of fonts and we'll make this title just a little bit smaller cool and we'll go ahead and center this up and maybe we'll just move this up here cool so now we have a main title and a subtitle here but what you want to do is vary the text when you can to create contrast and to make your titles a little bit more interesting and from here what we can do is also change the color of our subtitle and you know maybe this can be like a logo color or something uh, I'll just do like a light yellow there and boom there is our titles ready to go and now we can start animating this and building graphics around our title to make it a little bit more interesting and before we continue on I want to say thank you to premium beat for sponsoring this video premium beat is a royalty free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects they have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from. And they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system so you can quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty free music. So first thing I wanna do is kinda just design some of the elements in here before we get into individual animation. So let's come here to the top and let's grab the rectangle tool. We'll click on the word fill here and we'll set this to none. And then we'll click on the word stroke and we'll set this to solid color. And we can increase the stroke count just by a little bit, maybe the six pixels. And all we'll do is draw out a box to go around our title like this. And typically the box around a title is a very cliche thing, but I wanna kinda of do something a little bit more interesting. So what we'll do here, first off, we'll line this in the center of our composition. And maybe we'll just move this up by a little bit. We'll kinda of wanna center our main title and we'll move up our subtitle, kinda of get that you know, all in position. And now we'll come here to our shape layer one, go to add, and we'll add a trim paths. We'll open up trim paths, and we will increase the start by a little bit, and then we'll come here to the offset, and we will offset this by a little bit so we can compensate for our subtitle. So you might need to open this up a little bit more depending on how big your subtitle is, but for me, this is good. And what we'll do here is we'll add a keyframe for start and end, and we'll move both these keyframes forward in time to maybe like a second. Then we will decrease the start all the way until we get this right in the center. And then we'll decrease the end until we get this right in the center there as well. So it'll go to 58% for me. And now I'll animate like this. And that's cool. Of course, we'll want to make all these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And perhaps we'll make the animation a little bit longer. So I would also like to add some extra accent lines in here just to make it a little more interesting. And of course you can just keep it this clean if you like, but let's come here and grab the pen tool and let's simply just draw out a point right there, hold down shift on our keyboard and click on our point. So we'll have a straight line like this. And we saw that stroke activated. We'll set the stroke down, the stroke count down to three. And from here, we will open this up, come here to add and we will open up uh, trim paths again, let's add that right there. And then we'll come here to the start and end. We'll add these keyframes. We'll move forward a little bit. And we'll set the start to 50% and the end to 50%. So we'll just get a line like that. We can make all these easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And actually, we'll just go ahead and move this one up right above our title. And then what we can do is come here to edit, duplicate. 
and we'll duplicate this line hit p on our keyboard for position and we can just move this over to the other side right to our other you know side of our title there and boom we get that and that's looking good for now and then also what we can do here is just duplicate both these lines and then we will just bring them below our titles like over here and we just hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes and we'll just take a look at the two top ones here and this time we'll just delete all the keyframes here and we'll just kind of redo everything really quick Maybe we'll, this time we'll do a different animation so this time maybe we'll set the end down to 0% and we'll add a keyframe for it move forward in time set up to 100% so we get just this animation from the left to right there and we'll come here to the beginning right after the first end keyframe we'll add a keyframe for start we'll move past the last end keyframe and set the start down to 0% so now this line will just animate forward we can just offset the start keyframes by a little bit nice perfect and of course we'll make these all easy easy keyframes and then we'll just del delete accent line three we'll duplicate this one and we'll just move this over so we should have an animation like this and our in animation should be good to go but let's go ahead and animate our titles and then we'll animate this out so how I like to animate titles in some cases sometimes you like to pre-compose it and then play with mask but I have an easier way of doing things so what I like to do is come here and grab the rectangle tool make sure no layer is selected and we'll click on the word fill set it to solid color click OK and we'll turn off the stroke and from here I'm gonna create a box you know right below our line here okay and we'll rename this layer to matte and we'll put this layer right on top of our corporate title or right above our main title we'll open up our main title here we'll come here to animate and we'll add position then we'll bring down the Y position here just go right into that map then we'll come here to range selector one and maybe right at this point maybe around this point we'll start animating it so we'll add a keyframe for start we'll move forward maybe by a second and set the start to 100 percent so this will animate in letter by letter cool and then we'll close these up and we'll toggle switch the modes until we see the track mat and for our corporate or main title and i'll set the track mat to alpha inverted mat so now it'll just animate on right from that crease right there and that's awesome then what we can do is duplicate our mat put it on top of titles uh set it to alpha inverted mat as well for our subtitle right and then we can bring our mat up so perhaps we'll have it come in from right over here then we'll go into our titles layer and we can do the same thing animate the position set the y up come here to the range selector so perhaps right there you can start animating let's edit keyframe for start move forward by a second boom and of course let's make these easy easy keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard and we'll do the same thing for our main title all right so here is our current title animation everything looks good i want to work on the animation of our titles real quick so let's come here to the corporate layer and let's go here to the graph editor and we can hit u on our keyboard to bring up keyframes click start there and let's click this last keyframe here and let's drag out this vertice so it slows down towards the end so it starts kind of fast and it slows down at the end perhaps we can stretch the keyframes out by a little bit all right very cool we just did our little custom animation here and this flows a lot better this way so something to take a look at the graph editor all right we've done our in animation of course we should want to animate this out and it's very easy to animate something like this out so we'll come here to maybe like four seconds and this is when we'll start animating everything out so let's come here to our box line let's open it up go in the contents we'll go into the trim paths and what we'll do here is we'll add a keyframe for offset and also we'll add it for um and we'll also add a keyframe for end and we'll move forward here to maybe about a second and we'll bring the offsets down into the negative value and set the end down to zero percent or 15 percent you want to set it to the percent that the start percent is at so now this line will kind of just eat itself up and close up and that looks cool and of course make the offset keyframes easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 okay awesome so then only thing we have to animate out here is the title in those two top accent lines so we can just come here to the trim paths and we can add a keyframe for start you know maybe to like a four seconds and we'll come here by a second or so set it up to zero percent and maybe for this one we can do the end we'll add a keyframe for end and set that down to zero percent so now we have our accent lines animating out and the only thing we need to do is animate out the titles so we'll come here to our subtitle first we'll hit U on keyboard for position and we'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward here 
and we'll want this to be animated out right before the line touches it and then we'll come here to corporate and we'll do the same thing we'll just animate this out by adding keyframe for start and we'll set that down to zero percent all right so this is what we currently have with our title and everything looks good we have our in animation we have our out animation um, there's a little bit more I'd like to add to this so first things first let's go ahead and turn on motion blur for our entire title and we'll turn it on at the top here all right cool then let's go up to layer new null object and let's parent our entire title all of our assets to it parent it by the pick whip parent to the null object and let's do this so let's hit asterisk keyboard for scale add a keyframe there and let's move forward to maybe around this time and let's kind of zoom this out a little bit so we'll scale this inward and simply it'll just animate in and then right when the title is on let's move forward by a few frames and let's just have it jump down a little bit you know just kind of give it a little bit of a just a jar and drop and then we'll move to the end of our animation and we'll just continue to scale it down by a touch all right with our motion blur and with our scaling techniques we now have this awesome corporate title and scaling techniques just makes it a little bit more you know interesting just puts a little bit more attention to what's on screen rather than it just sitting there and since we're on the topic of creating tiles in After Effects and making them editable in Adobe Premiere, one of my favorite packs for After Effects is called Typo King, which is a kinetic typography uh, title kit with 555 animated titles that has its own user interface inside of After Effects, and they're all pre-made essential graphics for Adobe Premiere, so you don't have to do any of that linking from After Effects to Premiere. And you get 555 of these animated titles in a handful of different categories, and you can easily find the title that works best for your project, whether you're working in After Effects or Adobe Premiere. And if you want to learn more about Typo King and take a look at all the 555 titles, you can check our links in the video description. It'll take you right over to Typo King. So there are my concepts for creating corporate-based titles with After Effects. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you're new to our channel, be sure to subscribe to us because we post several post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.